today in this video we are going to continue the object repository and we are going to see how as a developer i can work with object repository while working with the orchestrator okay in the previous videos we have already seen what exactly is object repository what is its structure how do you manually create it and how do you create the different kind and capture all the elements in case you are not familiar with any of this i would request you to watch the previous video that would give you the good understanding of this one okay i have posted all the links everything in the description for your reference today in this video we are going to see a quick recap of the object repository we are going to create a repository upload it to the orchestrator then we are going to create a new project use the repository from the orchestrator then we are going to update the ui descriptors and see how these changes are delivered to the projects which are using the existing repository right so all of this we are going to see in a step by step manner in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest updates from the series having said that let's get started okay so a quick recap of the object repository we have something which is called object repository we capture the elements we add all the object repositories app screen elements to the object repository then we just drag and drop and use it in our projects okay so in the last videos what we have seen that i was posting the object repository in my local and i was using the object repositories from the local only and one thing which was not clear is that how does the version maintenance will happen and what happens if i update the object repository right so this video would be more practical and it would answer all of these questions if you have any remaining questions you can always reach out to me okay so to start with let's go back to our uipath studio so i am back into my uipath studio so the first thing first i am going to go here into the new project section and today i am going to start with creating a new library which is this one okay so i'll call this as uh, a new library and let's say i am going to take the wi application object repository okay so let's say today i have a requirement that i have to create a object repository for wi okay i just go here and i say wi and i say create okay so i have not selected a normal process i have selected a library okay now for the demo what i have done is i have a folder into my d drive d data and a demo folder okay inside the demo folder i have two folders one is the folder one and other is the folder two right you will understand the significance in a bit moment so in the folder one i have an application which is wi which we have to automate okay or which we have to create the repository and then i have something which is called folder two which is absolutely blank right so what is the use case the use case would be simple we are going to create a object repository based on the application path in folder 1 we deploy it we run it we use it in other project and then i would manually go ahead delete this wi from here and i'll move the ui application to the new folder that means that i will change the application path and then we are going to see how the object repository is going to behave okay so that's what we are going to see in this tutorial so back to my uipath studio and you can see that i have got all these activities which are available here so i'll quickly go to the object repository here and then you can see here i don't have any repository which is being created okay so i'll go here and i'll simply click on first let me just open the wi application okay so we'll go back to the uipath studio go to the object repository click on this button which is the capture elements we have already discussed so not spending much time here and then we we'll simply click on this record button and this is the application we want to automate and then we have the wi application as you can see the name of the application here the path is d data demo folder 1 wi.exe okay and then i just click on this button which is the add screen and i'll point it to let's say this deposit screen and uh, let me just 
click on something here like cash in okay then let us click on his this save and continue right we have already discussed all of this so not spending much time here then i'll click on the other element i'll say save and continue and let's click on one button which is this accept button and save and continue so once this is done all we have to do is just click on this save button okay so the repository is created in the wi app i have this wi and this this thing is extra you can just right click on it and delete it right so yes okay so i have created this a uh, quick small repository where we have a wi application this is the screen and all of that which is available here right now i simply wanted to use it so in the previous videos we have seen how we can use it and how you can publish it directly to the local right by clicking on this button extract at ui library project and you are exporting it right so that is also one way of doing it but let's say now i want to publish this as a library to the orchestrator one way is you can create click here take it as a library project and export it however you can directly come to the uipath orchestrator since this is already a library project you can simply click on this publish button at the top and you would see this option here which is properties right so here you would see that the package name is wi this is the same name of the application right this is the version number so the version number which you should worry is this one which is the new version which is coming right for me it can be different because i might have published it a couple of times right so what you have to see here is when you run this you have to see what is the version number right so for me the version number is 1.0.4 next i'll click on this button and then here you would see in the last time we were publishing it to the custom in our folder but this time we will select here orchestrator tenant library feed and then we simply select on this button which is next and then we click on this one which is publish but before that you need to also make sure that you just select this option which is the remove unused dependencies what that will do is if you have any unused dependencies in your project all of that would be removed right so i'll simply go here and i click on this button which is publish okay so now what is happening the ui path studio is going to publish my library and you can see that the double ui application object repository is published to the orchestrator okay so i can say okay and let's go back to the ui path orchestrator which is this i'll go to the tenant here i have something which is called the packages and in the packages you have two tabs now the packages this is for the normal processes and here you have a section which is called libraries okay so in the library we selected tenant so i'll go to the tenant inside the libraries tenant and you see that this is the object repository for wi 33 seconds ago which we just published okay you can click on these three buttons and it will show you all the available version so 43 seconds ago this was published 1.0.4 okay so this a uh, developer let's say a senior developer has created this object repository and now i have 50 more developers who have to use it okay so to understand it let me just quickly take a notepad file so that we guys understand what is the use case right so there is a, a senior developer okay who created this object repository for this one which is the wi okay and then there are let's say 50 junior dev who are working on let's say 50 projects okay and they have to work on this same application okay so now let's see how they are going to utilize it and how any changes which the senior developer will do will have the direct impact on this junior developer projects okay so i hope till this point you guys understood that what is object repository and how you deploy it to the orchestrator right like this if that is the case please comment down orchestrator so that i know that yes you guys are following along in a step by step manner okay now let's go back to ui path and uh, let me open a new instance of ui path studio 
and this is now a new developer let's say out of this uh, 50 junior developer i am one of the developer and now i will create the automation and my senior developer told me that mukesh i have already created the object repository for you okay so i'll go here and i'll create a new process and uh, i will name this process as let's say junior developer one okay junior developer one is creating a process i'll create it it can be a junior developer or it can be any other developer right so i'm just for example sake i am taking this as a senior and a junior developer so now once the junior developer is creating the project okay now what would happen there are two ways now he can directly go drag and drop the activities do the configuration and all but we already have a object repository for the same set of activities right so if you see when he created the project we do not have the object repository here so what we will do is we will go to the projects and we will add the dependency now but this time we are going to add it from the orchestrator so i'll go to the dependencies right click on it say manage and here on the right hand side i'll say orchestrator host that's where we published sorry in the orchestrator tenant my bad and here you would see double ui application object repository by mukesh the developer will click on the repository and you would have this button which is the install okay so i'll just click on the button install and i'll save this right so till this point we do not have anything in the object repository but now what we have done is we are telling UI part to get the object repository from the orchestrator. Okay. So the dependency is loaded here 1.0.4. That is the version we uploaded. Now if I click on the object repository, you would notice that I have the version 1.0.4. I have the app and I have all the things whichever I want. Okay. So now the junior developer can go here and simply create the application it can be simply like just dragging and dropping the wi application okay and then just typing something let's say the cache in and the good thing you will notice here is that i am not opening the application i am not pointing it to anywhere else right my senior developer has already created the application and i am just using the object repository so i am using a type into activity and I just have to pass my value. All the other things are uploaded from the object repository. So what do you want to type? So let's say I just wanted to type a number called let's say 20,000. And then I'll again go to the object repository and I'll use this button, which is the accept button. And this is a click. So I'll just search here, click, double click on it. And that's it, right? So this was the one of the junior developer who only wanted to do these two activities. So he dragged and dropped from object repository and that works. He'll save the automation, go here and run the file. So let's see if the automation for the junior developer one works without writing any automation, but just using the object repository. We'll just wait. It opened the application, type the value, click on the accept button and perfect right now this works good now similarly same like this developer all the same developer uses the same approach okay so here they just do the same approach and they just keep continuing creating the automation now this was a happy scenario and everybody was happy now what happens the application goes a uh, update there is a update in application now this update in application can be anything it can be an update of the path it can be the software update it can be the update of the names or in other words the updates of the elements right anything can change in the application which was the source application now if i am not using the object repository what would happen all these 50 developers would have to go and change their automation for these updates but now since i am using object repository 
all of these updates can be managed only once by the senior developer and all these developer don't have to change it let's see that in action okay so to recreate this scenario let's say the first change which has happened is if you remember our folder structure i have the app which is in the folder one and that's why when the junior developer one was using you would see here it is coming as d data demo and folder one it is taking from the object repository okay so now let's say the application go ahead and changed it path it can be the url it can be anything right so now the path is changed from folder one to folder two okay the other changes which are happen in uh, application is let's say that they have updated something in the selectors now the junior developer is still using the old object repository and now if we go here and he runs the automation right what would happen the application won't be found and it is giving an error now all the 50 developers are getting this same error now one way is they fix manually one by one going here the other way is let's fix it in the object repository so i'll go back to the object repository which is the wi object repository solution go to the object repository this is my application right click on it and you would have an option which is edit the descriptors you can edit the descriptor here right so now the application path has changed from folder 1 to folder 2 we'll change in the object repository let's say the selector has changed now instead of the wi the name of the application is wi123 and for that reason i have to accommodate the wildcards right so i'll just introduce two wildcards in the wi app and i'll say okay now let's say there has been some selector update on this accept button i did the descriptor so whatever changes the application has been went through all those changes you can do here selector fuzzy selector edit selector all of that you will do here right so in the strict selector also let me put a wildcard here right so that we can differentiate i'll just say confirm so the senior developer this guy our senior developer all the updates in the application are fixed by the senior developer now what will happen since the senior developer has fixed it what the senior developer will do is he will deploy it to the object repository and all the junior developer should automatically get it right let's see that in action now so i hope you are understanding this story so in the object repository this is the object repository of the senior developer he found out that the application has changed all the juniors are pending so he'll just change it here and he'll simply go to this button which is the publish and he will publish a updated version 1.0.4 and he will now update the new version to 1.0.5 it can be anything hit next next publish so the new version of object repository is published to the orchestrator by the senior developers right and uh, it's published successfully 1.0.5 if i go back to the orchestrator hit a quick refresh let me just go here and uh, see if it is already yeah session is here so in the tenant into the packages we have the libraries and in the tenant we have this library which was published 22 seconds ago if you click on these numbers now you would have two versions one is the 1.0.4 the other is 1.0.5 right now if i have to use it so this was the junior developer solution which was breaking because it is still using the folder one the selectors are not updated now the junior the senior developer right this guy this fixed it he deployed now he will tell the junior developer that in all the 50 applications just update the dependency to the latest one which is 1.0.5 right so what we have to do is we'll go to the junior world solution which is this we'll go to the project and just keep an eye here right it is folder one we just go here which is running on 1.0.4 right click on it manage and now here you can see all the available version so i'll select 1.0.5 i'll say update and save right so 
the 1.0.5 version which the senior developer has just updated is now being referenced in the junior developer and all the solution which are referring is as soon as you update the dependency the code will automatically get updated yes you heard that right so this is the same solution which was breaking i have just updated the dependencies it was breaking initially right the studio would reload and you would see here automatically this getting changes to folder 2 i go to the cache in right if i go to the properties you could easily uh, find in the target in the strict selector we have updated i think here in the strict selector i guess let me quickly see where it is ah not for the cache in sorry we updated for the accept button in the properties and uh, tick, 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 tick. here you see in the strict selector there is a double asterisk right so whatever changes as a developer you did in the object repository is now available here now the junior developer just have to save this go here and run the file and the thing you will notice is the automation started working again by just updating the dependencies and without updating the code so any ui changes which has to be handled can be easily handled by the object repository and the developer do not have to change anything in the code right so that's how this complete cycle of object repository works and i hope you guys are able to follow along with me okay one important thing which you should remember here let's say this 1.0.5 version has got some issue so you always has an option to go back to the previous version same like we do for the dependencies you can always go back to the older version because this is again a library it is again a dependency okay and in the orchestrator you would have all the available versions with you i hope that is clear so if you are able to follow along with me and you are able to reach this orchestrator and you have the concept clear please comment down orchestrator that way i would understand that yes till this point we are clear and then i would now move to the next topic right i'll wait for your comment just comment down orchestrator and i'll understand that yes you are on the same page so next step is what about the publish if you see here in this one right so as of now the library is directly published to the orchestrator so this was a development environment the senior developer published the library and it was directly published from the studio to the orchestrator but in the real time automation in the client environment you might not have direct access to publish the library directly to the orchestrator then what do you do the answer is simple if you remember in the video second we published the library to local the same concept is applicable here as well so you can publish the library locally i will let's say click on publish and let's say my client is at a different location and he is not giving me access to his orchestrator i fix the issue here i'll hit next i'll hit publish but since i don't have the orchestrator access i'll publish to the custom right this is the same thing which we did in the second video and i'll just select publish now the library instead of getting published to orchestrator the version 1.0.6 is now published to my local folder which is in my c mukesh documents and object repository i can share this nuget packet to the client customer production support they will go to their orchestrator and you would see this small blue button here which says upload browse the file 1.0.6 right open and upload so the last we uploaded was 1.0.5 now if you see here zero second ago this library is updated it is now 1.0.6 and now this 1.0.6 would be also available for the developer so if i go to the developer solution which is this junior developer one i can go here manage the dependencies and whatever changes we have in the 1.0.6 would be available for you here right so that way you can manage these libraries and that's how you can do this all manipulation 
deployment all of that you can do and it's a pretty good feature right so i hope now you have a clear understanding on how do you work with orchestrator and the object repositories together if you have any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well right i would appreciate your feedback on this video that was this helpful were you able to completely understand the concept right just let me know your feedback in the comments with that i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation